So this week we are going to show you how we transform this into this. So, so let's, let's get, get started. started. I'm Duca and I'm Roberta and, and together, together we are building, building our own tiny shipping container house. house. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. So the first step to do the finishings of the drywall is to use the tape. Yeah, we need to cover these joints in between panels and to do that we need to apply some pudding and on the top we need to apply the tape and then we need to apply pudding again it's a little bit confusing we never done this before but we're gonna manage to do it and we need to cover the screws as well It's actually faster than we thought. And a lot faster. Seems easier. We are not sure if it's gonna be beautiful, but seems easier. It's, it actually doesn't smell. <laughs> not at all. But we don't know the results of this on our health, so. So, step number two. We need to apply the second coat of mud. Basically, the way this works is that every time we apply a new layer of mud, it's wider. So this was just to glue the tape on the joint. The next one is to cover the tape, and then the next one is wider, and the next one is wider. So in the end, the transition is really long and smooth. That's the idea. I don't know if we can do it, but let's try. <laughs> the first time we do that but theoretically you put one thick layer and then you clean this layer to make it like smooth and then you come on each corner again and instead of doing straight you do like this so the bottom touch the drywall the top doesn't touch all the way so you do like just smooth the transition and then the transition on the top so that's what I'm doing right now Supposedly that's the way it goes and now tomorrow we give another layer that as I said before is going to be wider and then another one is going to be wider and we're going to be ready to sing. So we have a few other ones to do it. Let's do the top one now. That's what he learned on our YouTube channel yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Every day we go home we study what we need to do the next day. So I just learned that yesterday. <laughs>
So next step, singeing time. Now we're gonna make a lot of dust. Yeah, we need to go through all the tapes and see if it's flushing. See, right now there is a little bit more mud than it's supposed to, and we're gonna take off with the sandpaper. That's a 220 grit until it's fl just uh, flat. These need to be flat on both sides, all on the same line. And if there is any gap, let's say if there is a space in between the square and the panel, that means that I need to put more mud and we're gonna do that after. And I'm gonna send the screws. Yeah, just a little, just a tiny little sand, just to make sure it's flush also. I'm gonna try. Yeah, it, it's gonna be fine, we'll get there. Oh, by the way, these need to be sanded with something really flat and cross. Like crossing like 45 degrees on each side and not send the paper because otherwise it's gonna ruin the whole thing. Let's get started. So how it's going? So easy. It's so <laughs> easy compared to the plywood. And compared to resin. I don't know how long this is gonna last because it's so fragile it seems like but <laughs> so far so good. Well, people used to tell me that everything must pass. Nothing here around us was ever meant to last. Grab that light around you, hold it to your breast till it's over. And out there in the distance, melancholy bells ringing on forever. Stories that they tell, Father, mighty Father, went down a wish on well in the morning. Next step, we need to make sure this is impermeable. So we bought this product that we're gonna, it's like a paint. Yeah, so basically this is a kind of primer made to make this impermeable and then we can paint white. But first this one and then we wait for 24 hours and tomorrow we can finally paint the walls white. Let's yeah, going. it's gonna be white. Just, <laughs> yeah. Small spaces in white is much better in our opinion, makes them look bigger even yeah. though they're not. So as usual, Duca is gonna use the roller and I'm gonna use the brush to the, to the, the corners. corners. Yeah. One tip, when you do any kind of paint that is water-based, you first apply water on the roller, just you lose less hair, like this, they say. The theory. <laughs> the theory, of course. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is done for today. We need to wait for 24 hours until this dries. And tomorrow we're gonna apply the white paint. Yeah. So let's go. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it's about time to get these walls white, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are really, really anxious to see this white and to have the feeling of the house. But first we're gonna try a method because as you guys know, we always have problems with hairs. <laughs> with hairs, like uh, roller hairs or cloth or whatever, on the paint. And someone gave us Chris. Chris. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, uh, he, he'd been watching the videos for a long time. And this week he sent me a video showing a method to take off the hair. loose hair. Look at this. We never tried before. Let's see if it works. So basically, you hold the tape with your 
shoes and then you go like this that's funny and then you go like this thanks for the tip Chris thanks so much Chris and now back to reality another yeah. thing we told you before there are a lot of hairs here yeah. so it works but let's do both ways the second tip is to get this wet when it's um, Before water... You use, yeah, thinner? it's water based so we can use water on the roller. If it was thinner based we would use thinner instead of water. Oh, by the way, this is water based acrylic paint. Hopefully it's gonna look like the same as the plywood wall. It's not exactly the same paint we use it but we're hoping to get the same result. Well, I remember in my hometown I met a pretty girl there Well I remember in my hometown When I met a pretty girl there And her little white dress At the county fair She took my hand We made some plans And I loved it grow She took my hand We made some plans And our love did grow But as sure as those seasons change, her heart grew cold. So goodbye, Caroline Rose. First call. Well, I went out to a mountain town to see some friends I had. Well, I went out to a mountain town to see some friends I had. When I came back down, my little girl gone mad. She said, I'm leaving you, what else can I do? You ain't the man you used to be. Said, I'm leaving you, what else can I do? You ain't the man you used to be But there's plenty of pretty women So that's just fine with me Say goodbye, Carolina Rose Now I live alone in my little home I pay on my own bills Now I live alone home and I pay all my own bills and if she don't love me I bet a sister will so goodbye Caroline Rose so that's it finally we have all the walls <laughs> of the house and that looks they just look really good <laughs> yeah after a year and a half building we finally can see the real size of the house. And actually, it not it. <laughs> we thought the house would look smaller with these walls. We thought the walls would shrink the house. Yeah, but white is just magical. Yeah. White color <laughs> always seems bigger than it actually is. And we are in love with yeah. the walls. Yeah. Yes. Now we can go inside the bathroom and see how big is the bathroom because for a long time it was just theoretical. We were like, I, we believed that size of bathroom was enough. But we were never sure 100%. And now, of course, we still need to finish the bathroom yeah. to put the toilet. To yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. Yeah. But it's ah, we forgot there. one thing. Mm. We did a mistake. Oh, yeah. it's not a mistake. We can fix it, but yeah. we will fix later. <laughs> we just forgot to drill the holes for four pipes on the bathroom, for the toilet, and for the vanity. Yeah. Yeah. That's a small thing, but we should have done that before we paint the walls. But it's, it's still we it's when, feasible. <laughs> no, no, no. When you we drew the hole, there is a finishing around the pipe, so we won't see anything. So it's we'll be fine for now. It looks even better because there's no hole there. We are gonna do this in the future. Yeah. So next week, <laughs> next week, yeah, next week we're gonna clean the whole house. Right now, after a year and a half building the house, we have too much junk inside and too many tools and everything, and, and we, we cannot have even never than I proper cleaning. Yeah, and we cannot even house. see how the house looks yet, so we are gonna clean the whole thing. And now we have a storage place, so yeah. we can store, store some th things, you know? uh, yeah, some garbage there. So next week we're gonna give you a proper tour of the house and show you how the house is after a year and a half building. And then we are gonna tell you the news. Yeah, we have huge news after, but wait until next week in the end of the episode 
It's gonna be cool. Yeah, we are excited already. We want to Petros tell you. Already know, so yeah, shh, yeah, Petros, shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, we, they're, they're respecting. They know for two weeks already. So yeah, thanks guys, we're respecting the silence. Yeah, we really want to tell you guys, but it's not the right time yeah. next week. Yeah. So let's go home because yeah. next week gets earlier if we leave now. Next week. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Next week. <laughs> Just one more thing. We forgot to mention that all the corners around the wall, uh, around the door, around the window, on the corners in between walls and in between the ceiling panel and the wall, they're not finished. The reason for that is because we're going to have a wooden finish around all these spots. And that's the reason why we didn't apply the tape, the drywall tape in between the wall and the ceiling. It's because it doesn't make sense. It, even the gap that's there doesn't matter because we're going to have wood right there. So you, you understand the future. We will make sense. <laughs> we promise we will make sense. But for now, that's, that's it. it. Now it's for real. See you guys, <laughs> See you guys next week. Monday. Take the tips. <laughs> As we told it's you, really hard to get. Because we need to get a piece.